Hello. Hey, is this Chris? Yes. Uh, my name is Angela. I am returning a call you placed to open regarding uh, 4860. Yeah, I was trying to see uh, where you're interested in selling it. Uh, she would like to sell it. <laughs> Oh, yes, great, sir. Great. Now I'm a, I'm a real estate agent, so if I didn't say that at first. Um, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm just an so, investor. We buy houses all over St. Louis, so um, we were just uh, looking to see if uh, they were interested in selling. Is it something that's listed or something or no? Um, the listing is not active, but it was listed. Um, you know, m my sign is still out in New York. Um, I can help you uh, navigate an offer if you like. Um, sure. So, did you see the did you see the property online, or or how are you no, guys no. Uh, doing this? No, we talk to probably I don't know five thousand people a week about property. So, anybody who had a house online that didn't sell for whatever reason, we reach out to them to see if we can sell if it's still for sale or we can buy it. Because it may have been a reason oh, right. or something that nobody never exposed or saw, you know, different situations. Because mm -hmm. every case is different. Um, do you have an idea why it didn't sell when it was listed? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's um, it needs a little updating. It's a sturdy little house, but it does not have central air, and it's got radiators, and she has a very high mortgage on it. So we couldn't really bring it down too low uh, and be, you know, competitive. So mm -hmm. probably to mm -hmm, to entertain your offer, we would, you know, probably be looking at a short sale, which, um, you know, I would try to uh, help navigate for a buyer. Uh, oh, okay. We, I think so we got it at this, like fifty. Uh, yeah, what what kind of condition is the property? Is it livable or it needs a lot of work to move into or what's the situation there? It's livable, however, okay, Chris, let me back up a little minute. This lady has owned this house since the 50s. She oh, is wow. 90 years old. Yes, yeah, she's 90 years old, okay? So she's not really in a position to do anything. It's, you know, so we got this list in and I got this, you know, TLC um, seller. Um, so the biggest problem is there's a lot of paint and it's peeling. And I know that, you know, the average buyer is going to have to be FHA and all of this has to be cleaned up uh, before, you know, we could get an occupancy permit. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, like the floors are, you know, are decent. You know, you could come in and you know put your furniture in it or whatever. But um, uh, and you know, like some rooms have cracks in the walls and they would have to be scraped and painted down. And then um, the basement uh, is is damp or, or or takes in water during heavy rain, and that's a turn off. You know, people can you know kind of you know. You, you know, you know, it's not a, a super dry basement. I mean, it's 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 workable, but it is it's a wet basement. So um, I couldn't come down because she owes so much. How I much need a little on? one. Um, it's it's just under. Uh, well, wait a minute. She she's she's pretty much stopped making the payments, so I don't have the exact. Figure, you know, they keep going up and up and up, and she's just like, you know, I'm done. She, she, you know, the property is not occupied. She's not, she's not still living in it. So um, the last time we really looked at it, she owed in the high forties. I've got it. I brought it down to I think fifty seven nine. I got like less than ten thousand uh, dollars in room, and the only reason why I didn't bring it down to the bone is because. The average buyer needed closing cost help. You know, the FHA let you do 6%. And I knew I had all of these repairs to get the occupancy permit. So, um, do you know what, what happened? And you said she's behind on the payment. How much is the monthly payment every month? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, um, 
it's not a traditional mortgage. Uh, it's like a line of credit or something she had against the house. Um, so I it's guess not, it was it not very large. Hmm? So I guess they turned that part off the line of credit since it's not being paid. I yeah. Guess. Right. But it wasn't, it wasn't very uh, huge. It seems like it was less than a regular mortgage would have been. Um, However, it didn't go down over the years like a regular mortgage would either. You see what mm, I'm saying? It was like calculated on the year. Yeah, so it's being calculated on a different uh, a different scale. So, mm. uh, but it, well, it's it's a sharp looking little house on the outside, solid brick. It's um, five rooms, two bedrooms, and a little enclosed like some porch off the back. Oh, Chris, it's got a three-car brick garage, which oh, wow. is unusual in the city. Yeah. And uh, she rents one of them to the man next door one day. <laughs> but, um, you, get you know, but that could, <laughs> yeah, just a little, you know, but, you know, that's, uh, that could continue with a new owner or, or not, you know. Um, but it's not a bad little house, but we're just not in the position to rehab her house to sell it, but, you know, I've right, been right. doing this long enough to know if a family wants to live in it, this stuff has got to be done. So my plan was to get a firm offer, get a contractor that would be a little lenient and wait until closing to be paid. Um, right. Well, what if I was able to tell you there is another way to make the deal come together? <laughs> I'm listening. Ah, I got your attention now. Well, this is actually my This is actually my specialty. Crazy deals were like everybody like, how do you get out of this? We have a way that we may be able to buy the house. Um and uh, you know, uh, it's a creative way we buy houses sometimes. It just depends on the situation and what the payments are. We can take over those payments on that property and uh, you know, catch the loan up and make it so it doesn't, you know just go to the bank or have to go through any of that short sale process or any of that stuff, if, depending on the situation, because I don't know enough data right now, just, you know, from what you told mm-hmm. me. But if the house is somewhat livable, you know, we, we usually get them, put a little bit of money into them, fix them up to make them, you know, somebody can move in. And we work with people who cannot necessarily qualify for a loan right now. So with a little oh. bit of help from us, we help them get qualified, and they go cash us out, the bank out, and everybody out at the end. But we put the money up to get the house livable and everything. So that that's one of the that's ways we may be able to do something. Yeah. So something it's like that, lovely. just to, just depending on, you know, the situation with the loan and things like that, we may be able to work something out to where we can get that property off of her and don't have to go through the whole process with, you know, requesting that the bank do this okay. and, you know, all that other stuff. So, you know, it just yeah. depends. It's just, and it's right. if she's well, I would open love to, to it. show it to you. Yeah, I would love to yeah. show, it, show it to you. Well, yeah, we would, um, yeah, I'd have to pitch her. But um, the other thing, Chris, the bank, the bank won't foreclose. They won't. They don't want it. <laughs> it's they so they funny, normally you know? don't. Oh, we save so <laughs> you know many foreclosures, like? you'll be amazed. Yeah, they don't take it. <laughs> I'm like, this is incredible, you know. But they call her, "How we doing?" You know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I know what's up. You know, that's you know, they got yeah. all the maintenance and taxes and everything there, but. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, I'd love to work with you on it. Yeah. Um, so this is actually, like I said, my specialty. I actually, you know, solve problems that everybody else give up on. We actually, you know, make right. deals out of houses that most of the time they fail on the MLS for whatever reason. We figure out what the reason is and we solve that problem and we get that house off the back of that seller uh, and help. Yeah. Get, you know. So then, then, then it don't go back to the bank either, and you don't have to go through the short sale process. So it's a win-win situation all the way around in a perfect world. You know. So, right. um, you know, and I can explain it to her, too, if it's easier for me, you know, because I don't want you trying to pitch it to her. And she's like, oh, well, I don't understand that part. And then they, they have a question that you can't answer, and I'd rather, you know, answer it. So that's why we usually reach out to homeowners so we can actually get all their questions answered and, you know, actually tell them how it works. We close all deals through real estate attorneys. So everything is disclosed and in writing. There's no tricky stuff. So we close, and you know, through escrow and everything. Okay. So it's all legit and everything. We do these deals all the time. But uh, right. yeah. So do you have I would a company to, name? 
Yeah, I can send you over our company information for St. Louis Cash Bars uh, and our website and everything. And you'll go see a bunch of people on there happy, like, oh, Chris saved the day. I don't know how he did it. Because <laughs> we have – we've bought houses that have been on the MLS for two years. Like, y'all didn't wake up and know that that's not the option. It's not working. Come on home and let me show you how to do something. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> mm-hmm. we come in and start save the day. And they'd be like, oh, wow. So you say you've been a real estate agent for a while now, huh? I have. And I and I should say that I am uh, the seller's uh, niece. Oh, okay. So that helps. Yeah. Yeah. At least, at least she got access, anyway. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, opened the door go. for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, at a bare minimum. <laughs> you know, 90, yeah, 90 years old. But, she, you know, she's pretty short. Sure, but, um, you know, she did not want to rent it out. You know, um, she just said she's not. She had a tenant in it for, she's had two tenants since she moved out. And when the last young lady left, she just said, I can't do it anymore, you know, you know, right, and right. Um, try to sell it. You know. So what is her main so, goal? Is it just more so just to get not to have to worry about that house or what's the real goal here? Uh, I think it's uh, just not to have to worry about the house. Yeah. You know, everybody would like a little something, you know, but she wasn't yeah. trying to, um, she wasn't looking for a huge profit. Uh, like I said, she had uh, bought against the house for other, you know, um, with this line of credit thing. And so she kind of had peace with that. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, she was just trying just trying to wrap it up. And, you know, you hate to, uh, she doesn't have a lot, you know, bring money to the table. You know, that she couldn't, you know, that would be hard. So, yeah. But, uh, so the biggest thing like is. Would you uh, well, or look at it? Yeah, I would love to see it. Uh, the biggest thing now, um, I would need to, you know, figure out what is the actual payoff from the bank and also uh, what is the reinstatement amount? Like, what are they going to require to bring it current and, uh, you know, make it so they're not even thinking about foreclosing, even though we say they're not. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and then, but once they get uh, somebody the, interested, things change. Oh. You well, know. They, 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 they'll just. Well, in their eyes, they'll just get a chunk of money in, and they'll know that the loan is back current. That's the only thing that the bank will do, really, in this situation. So they don't they don't really even have any say-so about any of this, to be honest. A lot of people feel like the bank has all the power, and I'm like, no, the seller has all the power. If the seller and the buyer work a deal out and make something happen, the bank just there to collect their money. That's it. They're just a third party, really. You know, but um, well, but like let I me say, ask we, you something. Yeah. I was just going to say. So in doing this, do you um, – is your goal to uh, have the note put in your name so that you can control it, or are you trying to do like a wraparound thing? Usually it's a wraparound mortgage. Uh, we usually uh, keep the loan in the seller's name, but we just make those payments on her behalf so she don't have to worry about it. We take full responsibility of all of the maintenance, repairs, tenants, toilets, termites, and anything else that happens with the house so they can move on and not have to worry about that house ever again. And basically it gets it sold and it's not just sitting as a vacant house uh, attracting, you know, the people we don't want to attract to try to break in it and all this other stuff. You know, a vacant house Mm -hmm. is never good. In St. Louis, as you may know, (laughs) they want to go in and take everything. They want to take your kitchen sink. Like, dang, these people crazy. They go on the rooftop and steal your air conditioner. Like, good night. Mm -hmm. But, you know. (laughs) <laughs> but uh yeah. you know so we, so we try to solve the whole problem all the way around and make the seller whole and they don't have to worry about anything at all and we do these deals all the time like i say so i mean it's just, a lot of people just don't know that you can even do different strategies like this so they think that you know it's only one or two options there's usually about seven or eight options yes, depending on the situation and the numbers and things like that so that's the biggest thing right now mm-hmm. figuring out the payoff figuring out what is the monthly payment does that include the principal interest taxes and insurance on the property? Uh, what is the reinstatement amount? And uh, and if, if the seller is okay for it and we can figure out if it makes sense for everybody and make everybody happy in the end, we can make a deal. It's really that easy. Don't take long at all. All right. Now let me ask you. <laughs> you're so funny. Let me ask you this. Um, is it wise or advisable to try to negotiate with the bank to try to get uh, some of the fees off of it for reinstatement or just go roll with it since it's late? 
Well, there's two ways. So sometimes you can do that. Um, we usually do that through a loan modification just to change the payments and put that uh, overage or those back payments on the back of the loan or something like that so there is no reinstatement amount. Mm -hmm. We do that sometimes. And sometimes if it's not a lot, we just pay it. So as long as it's not something ridiculous, like, oh, we're 40000 behind on a $40,000 house. Like, oh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that's, and that happens sometimes. I was like, how did you get so far behind? The house ain't even worth that. We have one in Berkeley right now. She's $26,000 behind. So she ain't paid in two years. I'm like, why don't they take the house? But, you know, every situation is different. Oh, so we're wow. doing a loan. Yeah, the house is only worth, like, 50 or something, but she's behind 25. I'm like, how is that possible? I didn't even know that was realistic until I came across it. But it's possible. Right. So <laughs> You'd be amazed at what they mm -hmm. do. So we're doing a loan modification with her to put that back payment on the back of the loan. Then we'll just start making those payments on her behalf from that point going forward. And that's really the only way she can really get out of that deal other than just, you know, a deed in lieu and give it back to the bank or something like that or, you know, something that's not really the best case. So we try to make it a best case scenario for everybody where the bank's happy, the seller's happy, everybody's happy. Okay. So, yeah. Um, when are you able to show it? Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty flexible. I don't know if you've got uh, plans today or if you want to do it tomorrow, you know, that's fine. Uh, let me check here. And this is the best number here, the one you're calling me from, I guess? Yeah, that's my cell. And uh, my name is Angela Conley. Yeah. Okay. -L -L and what I'm going to do is uh, when we end this here, I'm going to send you a text with our company information, website and everything on it, as well as my contact information. And, um, and I'm going to do a little research on the property here, too, and uh, see what we can Alrighty. do. But, yeah, that's what I would need from you for right now, if that's possible. If you can get the reinstatement amount or approximate, it don't have to be down to the penny, reinstatement amount, um, need the, uh, is the payment, what is the monthly payment, and does that include the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance? And then All what right. The, now, uh, this was, that, that, I, can't, I can't do that today. <laughs> I just, it is my I mean, holiday. I got to go into a little 90 year old lady's house and dig out papers and shit. <laughs> or if well, I you know, and, and you can just nobody get is there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so, just a guesstimation. Um, you don't have to get down to the penny, but I'm just trying to get an idea. Because if sure. the number's even close, we can make something happen. But if it's something ridiculous, because sometimes we come across a house like that and be like, oh, the payment's 1200 but we can't even rent it for half of that. You know what I mean? Silly stuff yeah. like that. Too. No, so it, it's just it, that it we just got to make like sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you want me to do. You know, uh, it's easier for me to just, you know, run over there and let you look at it than to, to compile this. But if you would prefer I came back to you with those numbers, then I'll get back with you, you know, earlier uh, this week. Yeah, that um, would be fine. If you can come I, up I, with the numbers for it, that would be perfect. Because, yeah, that doesn't okay, know if I'm we can pretty, even do anything with it. Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty sure there is no, uh, the insurance is not in the note. Like I said, we're okay. not a mortgage, so she, you know she was she was paying that separate. I don't know about the taxes. I don't I don't know um, how she's, she's covering the that. taxes annually or not. Mm hmm But yeah. um, you know I can work on that, and um, you know yeah, uh, like I said, if you you know find you got an hour, um, you know you, you know you let me know. But um, it's an it's a nice little brick house, and the, and the uh, monthly payments were. Uh, very low. I'm thinking like uh, a couple of hundred or two hundred fifty dollars a month. You know, just ridiculously low. But like I said, yeah. this thing never went down either. It's like mm -hmm. you still owe what? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like oh, for well, love of God. But now you say uh, her balance was in the high forties. You think about forty-seven thousand? Yeah, think it was. That? Yeah, that was that was what it, what it was the last time I looked. But then she stopped making the payments, so I don't know how they're adding this stuff onto the back. But yeah. um, I only I, don't, I, don't, I had it at fifty seven, so I didn't have a lot of room. If I had gotten yeah. somebody, then I was my plan was to go back and say, look, guys, take some of this off. You know, I gotta you know repair this and this. I got somebody that'll buy it. You know, and try to get them to take some of the fees off. But right, with right. Uh, about ten thousand, I thought I could get everybody out. You know. Right, pay a little right. bit of the um, buyer's closing costs, or maybe not 6%, but something, you know. 
And see, that's the other thing with us. We typically even pay the closing costs, so they don't, they don't have any fees or anything. So we make it so easy. It's like, wow, where were you at last year? That's what all you think. How, why haven't I known you last year? That's what you would think. <laughs> that's how serious it is. Because, I mean, they, these deals yeah. come across a lot of times and people think there's no other option. Like, wait a minute, there may be, you know, maybe. I can't say it is, mm-hmm. but there may be other ways to make something happen to get this property, um, you know, back up and operating and somebody right. living in it and things like that. Because a vacant house doesn't help anybody, you know. We're just losing no, money. No, it doesn't. Right. So, yeah, so did you have any oh, other questions or anything for me for right now? Uh, no, once she told me, you know, it was, a, you know, basically like a wraparound, I kind of get it. Um. Uh, just trying to think. No, you you may still be able to uh, see it in the MLS. You know, it's expired, but if you pull it, put in the address forty eight uh, six three one one five, it should still come up. Um, okay. You know, and you could you know get the stats and everything on it. Um, but I will you know try to help her. You know, help her take it. Um, right, right. So I guess you, you know, already have an authorization to release information at the bank, so you can speak to the bank. I guess already. Uh, every time we've spoken to the bank, I've been there with her, and then she gives verbal. I don't have anything. Oh. I don't have an authorization. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just sit with her and we call, and you know, if we get a uh, communication that we don't understand or she has a question on, so that's how we've done it. Okay. So, um, yeah, like I said, I would I would need the banks to be open just to you know make sure, um, you know, I got the right figures and everything. Exactly, that makes sense. So yeah, that's the biggest thing. Okay. That's why we just try to verify the information, make sure that the numbers we have are accurate, and uh, we can do something with it. Let's see here. So it looks right. like I says online here she owes about thirty three thousand, but that may not, that may not be correct. But uh-huh. um, let's see. Here. 33,000 estimated mortgage balance, but if it's a revolving line, it might have went up or something. Okay, MLS details, 184 days. Oh, yeah, that was on there for a minute, huh? Mm-hmm. It does have an unpaid sewer lien for $745, I guess she, unless she paid it. She probably a did. Sewer okay. Every house has a sewer lien, right? I think I, I can't remember the right. last house <laughs> I, I bought that didn't have an MSD bill. They want their money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, and it says on here two eighty five a month. I don't know if that's what it is. It probably it is. sounds it about right. It was low, you know, two something, you know. Yeah. So, so what are you looking at? Yeah, we have a system here. We can pull up all of the information. Said so data is king. That's how we can find people and track people down and buy their house because we can solve problems. So you know, and it's just what I see on here. That doesn't mean any of this is accurate, but you know, we can you know figure right. out the actual details. It just gives us an idea. Uh, of what the situation is, and those houses over there, they're selling for about what, a little more than that, I guess, a little more than fifty or something. I don't know. Yeah, I originally had it at uh, maybe in the low sixties, but uh, I mean, I had comps, but the comps were a little stronger. I was really just trying to get people used to come in lower. I knew I had these repairs, and so we brought it down to fifty nine. Now, now we're down to fifty seven. So. Oh, okay. I see uh, it's I 107 pictures on here. I see, the, I see the MLS pictures now. Okay. So this got stained glass windows, hardwood floors, big open city houses, radiators. Yep. I guess this furniture and stuff is still in here, or is it vacant already? No, it's vacant. Okay. Because like, we even take it as is with the furniture, too. See, we make it so easy. What does she do with all this stuff? She took it back with her? Uh, I'm trying to think. It went to ve- – well, okay, well, first of all, she had a, a young lady in there, and most of the furniture at this juncture belonged to the tenant. Oh, okay. So the lady moved her stuff out. And then as we were doing this, some savvy little antique guy, he, you know, he saw the pictures, you know, online, I guess in MLS. Um, yeah, you got, and then, you got a, fi- a, a $1,000 piece right there I'm looking at in your house. That's why I said it. <laughs> it's probably gone, honey. You know, he came know out with, you know, with a little cash. Then he came back again, you know, can I get the, you know, the anirons off the fireplace and, you know, so. Yeah, that, that buffet right there that I'm looking at in, left. this buffet in the dining room is probably about a $1,000 piece. He took it. He got yeah, it. Yeah, I bet he did. You know, so and, here's and a $100 he said, bill. Yeah. Hurry up. 
<laughs> you know, the whole of uh, the whole Danette said, uh he said he uh specializing in like art deco. It wasn't art deco, but that style and he, yeah, that's he could sell it there. And, that's mid century right, modern. Got right? it. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, I got a furniture store too, see so that's how I know furniture. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Little bike boy came and got it. And he came back. No, he was time. quick. I bet yeah, he did. So, he ran um, to that house because I see it. I said, I ran. That's why I say, what they do with this furniture up here? That's over a thousand dollars sitting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that was that was uh, the ladies, you know, not the tenant. She had left the dining room stuff, but but she sold it. Yeah. Okay, so I see this three car garage in the back here too. That's a good selling point, so that helps because you know people like to fix mm-hmm. cars, and I need somewhere to store my cars, and they got too right. many cars. Yeah. <laughs> or they got so, kids. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this looks good as the pictures on here. I mean, let's see, an exposed brick room. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like a, a house, like every house do, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, that's it's, it's a nice little bungalow, but, you know, yeah. my goodness. You know, the kitchen ain't, ain't the most my. It does have cabinets. At least it's not metal or uh, an enamel sink, you know, but uh, it just needs a little updating and sprucing up, you know, and um like I yeah. said, I thought I could get everybody in, out of there with ten grand if I could get it, but I I couldn't get the offer. Uh, exactly. Yeah, no problem. So what I'm going to do, like I say, Angela, is a uh, <laughs> right, right. So I'm going to do a little more research on to see what I can figure out as far as comps over there because I don't. I mean, it's all over the place. You know, some of these areas get difficult. Yes, they are. I'm going to do a little deep diving into that, and if you can figure out those numbers part. Um, I'm thinking we can probably make something happen with it. If, if you know if she's okay with everything, and you know I can answer all her questions or tell her how the process works, it's pretty standard stuff. We can make it happen probably if uh, if she's open for it. Okay, and let me ask you something, Chris. About how long before you can totally get her out of the deal? Well, that's the thing. Uh, I don't want to give an actual time because I don't know. That's basically where we're going to make money on the back end because we'll end up selling to somebody for more when they cash us out and, uh, you know, get their own loan. So usually a couple of years or something like that. But, you know, every case okay. is different. I don't want to give you something I can't promise. I can't. I don't want to promise something I can't deliver on, but I will promise you this. She will not have to worry about that house anymore. Payments will be made, and uh, we take over all of that, all of the responsibility of everything. She don't have to deal with any of it. It'll be one less oh. house to deal with for you as well. All right. Okay, man. All well, right. Listen, perfect, hope perfect. we talk again soon. I'll, I'll do All a little right. research. Like I said, I just can't do it today. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'll in a rush. I, I understand. Yeah, All just right. let me know what you come up. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right. But that 285 I think, is at, about accurate for the, the uh, what she was paying. It was very, very low. Okay, no problem. All right. All right. Thank All right. you. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.